shift on. That's a picture of uh, Martin Luther King on Friday, June 19th, 1964. His reaction as the Civil Rights Act passes. He still hasn't got to the Voting Rights Act. Why do I start with that? Because the man, he was our moral conscience for a while. Because we had a generation in the 60s who saw what was going on. They wanted to change things, man. And they were the conglomerate. They were the new thinkers. Okay? And then, and then, then it started, man. With the food. It started out in the farms, man, because most of the people had moved to the cities. And the farmers were starting to be made to grow only corn and soy to be able to keep the property. Corn and soy became the number one process uh, product. It's in everything now. But they started with little things. Things we loved, Captain Crunch as a kid. Diet, um, the switch from Coca-Cola Classic to New Coke, the biggest blunder of all marketing history, okay, was they switched to high fructose corn syrup. Corn syrup's in everything now. So is soy. So we have these monsters controlling the food, controlling what we eat, uh, controlling our health, controlling our illnesses, controlling the second generation diseases. Not really. I want you to think about this, man. Acceptable losses. A vast majority of uh, civilization is considered acceptable losses. War, famine, disease, unlawful killings, disasters. But when we get to a government that adds to that, because somebody's pushing money, something needs to change. So as a chef, man, and somebody who has a memory that's really, really good, I go back in time and look at the food. I look at the food that my mom used to get, my grandma used to get, and the food that's on the shelves now. Where did all that flashy food come from, is what grandma said. Look at how flashy that food is. If it's flashy, don't buy it. Pictures, man. Then they say, read the label. Why should you have to read the label on a banana? All right? <laughs> Food is a simple design, man. In the sense that you grow it, wheat, you mill it, rice, you mill it, you cook it, you grow it, apples, you grow it. All these things come from base items, and that's what I'm teaching you on the show. I'm teaching you the reality of food. Not all the flashy stuff that you're looking at, that they're selling you. That they started selling us 25 years ago, little by little by little by little. Some of it has validity. Some of it is crap. Some of it is super crap. New flashy this, new flashy that, new flavor this, new flavor that. Pushed by the big pur purveyors who are pushed by the big buyers who are pushed by big corporations who are pushed by big corn, big soy, the biggest food things out there now. You have all these other green starting, but man, who's running around in like race cars on corn? Who's running engines on soy? It's in all the food. That means we're all corn and soy. That means we all can be very susceptible to the very same virus that goes around. That's why I only got a cold once, knock on wood, in five years. So we look at food in the future. We look at where we were and where we are now, just in the food. Corporations are there to make us sick, man. I'm like, what? Why would the federal government, like, I'll take 10 years to, like, say cigarettes are bad for you? What else are they holding back? I mean, you know, 
It, and we're talking, I was talking to my pastor on the bus, and he's talking about, man, side effects of all these pills. I said, I know, your ears will catch on fire, and your elbows will go, like, backwards, and um, occasionally you'll scream like a banshee, and small wisps of smoke will come out of your mouth, and your entire stomach will, like, come out your ear. All right, I'm just saying we was laughing, right? Man, natural man was meant to eat really natural food. Now, Escoffier, the father of cooking, created this huge kitchen brigade system to create all chefs under one idea of cooking. The idea of the chef, the executive chef, came forward. One chef who knew all the ideas, because it used to be all in guilds. But you got to follow it to the source, man. You gotta follow it to what they're doing to the food. You gotta follow it to what they're doing to the feed, to the animals. Because they're also soy and corn mostly. So all the mainstream meat and chicken, and now the feed fish, and all this stuff, man, it's all GMO'd um, soy and um, corn, and it has stuff in it called pseudoephedrine, man. Salt licks, chicken feed, cow feed, it makes them get big. It's used in something else too. It becomes addictive to your body, man. That's why we're so big in America. It's also why we have so many of these second generation back on track, man. Yeah. Diseases coming out. So I talk about coming back to food. It's like we drifted away in 25 years with flashy colors and flashy boxes. And No, if it's in a box or a bag, most of the time don't use it. If I pull a product out and say, this is a good product, that's a good product, it's an okay product. If I pulled out Classico and said, if you put this in your pan, it has some weird, weird red thing in it. Don't ever use it. And that's from... I'll tell you the truth, it's from a different store. Yeah, I got canned product. This right here, what am I waiting for? I'm basically waiting to get really bored, really, really bored, and throw this in to like, um, with some other, I don't know, give it away, I don't know. <laughs> canned vegetables supposed to be frozen. You won't find any really processed food other than like I buy a bagel. Every once in a while I buy bread. Or ice cream I want to get ice cream maker but man I'm telling you these things because big money is controlling what's going into your mouth into your body it's controlling how you have to buy insurance It's controlling how you have to see the doctor how you have to battle through colds how you have to be tired how you can't get rid of this extra weight how you fall into this rut that everybody else does this glut of like not eating, but of just like, it, it really sedates your system, man. Once you clear high fructose corn out and the pro rest of the processed food, it's like you get five years of your life back. You just feel that much better. And what do I eat? What's this, man? That's a big plate of butter. <laughs> Down here is a big, big, big chunk of chocolate. <laughs> Everything's from... From Bates, that reminds me. I'm gonna have some curry tonight. So I gotta get the bottom money. So I'm gonna finish with this man because it's 50 years since then. So I'm gonna start giving this in parts, all right? First, the food. What are we spending our money on? What are we spending our energy on? What are we spending our life on? What are we accomplishing? What are we after? Right now, everybody's running to the next paycheck because that's what they got us doing. Yeah, a little pat on the back. Look at that, man. I'm going to own the farm, man. We're going to own the farm and sell the food. Peace out, man. Believe all the things against me. Why should I, this little man, come upon this world and want to give upon you this idea? Because I can. And it's the right thing to do, man. 
talking to somebody today. I said, dude, I just put the ideas out on the internet because they need to be said. It needs to be done. If you can't see this, and I'm not, t man, I'm not holding up a black man. I'm holding up a dream. That's what I'm holding up. As I said with the sister of the jog and the UFO, and it says on the plaque, the dream's in their eyes. I made a song about these kids. That's the, the dream, man. The dream in the children's eyes. That was the song. That's what, like, man, in us is that. And we achieve that, man. It is who we are. It's like we become community. We become ourselves. We become so satisfied in the role that we've decided for ourselves, not one that was decided for us. So they've been deciding it for us for too long. 1% of the people got all that. Yeah, that, that, that nuts, man. I'm telling you, that wouldn't happen in a joint unless he got a key. Think about that, what I just said. All right? You know? You got to have civility, but you have to have politeness and properness, man. You give unto one, you give unto all, man. It can be done. In the darkest places, it can be done. So why can't it be done on the very streets that we live in? Come with a brave. Peace up, America. Much love. Amen. I'm sorry. Amen. Amen. Hey.